One great feature of the MagnaSense transmitter is its ability to be switched via a jumper into an air velocity mode unit. In this mode, the MagnaSense transmitter will produce a signal that will actually match the air velocity's square root curve itself, thus not requiring any additional programming at another device. To switch the MagnaSense to air velocity mode, locate the jumper next to the PJ5 designator. Out of the box, this jumper should be located in the end position for normal operation. Change this jumper to the right position next to the V on the circuit board for velocity mode. The MagnaSense transmitter will now provide a square root output in proportion to the air velocity curve. When using various pitot tubes and flow sensors in this application, these sensors have various k-factors. These k-factors account for the various sensing characteristics of the flow sensor that may amplify or negate the actual velocity pressure being sensed. The MagnaSense transmitter can account for these various k-factors. To adjust the k-factor, again locate the jumper section located next to the PJ5 designator on the board. Move the jumper to the top pins next to the K-designator. The MagnaSense transmitter may now be programmed for the various K-factors to match the factor your sensor possesses. In this programming mode, a 1.000 will show up on the display. Simply push the two buttons on the right labeled SW1 and SW2 in order to increase or decrease the factor as needed. The minimum K-factor allowed is 0.5 while the maximum is 3. Once set as desired, remove the jumper from the top K pins back to the right two pins labeled V. The MagnaSense is now programmed properly to match the K factor of your sensor and provide the corresponding square root velocity curve. One common issue when monitoring air velocity is the often fluctuating readings that occur due to the erratic characteristics of the flow. The MagnaSense transmitter is programmed to combat this issue. With an adjustable dampening filter, the unit may be programmed to negate the fluctuations being sensed in the airflow stream. Remove the jumper on the PJ3 from H to F. The unit may now be programmed from 0 to 15. Adjust this value with the SW1 and SW2 buttons until you are satisfied with the response rate on the display and or output. Now installation is nearly complete in the three applications described. A quick check of zero on the transmitter may be necessary. It is always important that the pressure ports be disconnected from the tubing to see a true zero. If the display shows a value without any source of pressure on either connection, simply push the zero digital button switch designated by SW1 on the circuit board. Hold this button down for approximately four to five seconds. After this time period, the unit will be set to actual zero. Since the MagnaSense transmitter can operate in pressure or velocity modes and will display in pressure units or velocity units, provided with a MagnaSense are engineering unit labels. Four labels are provided. Inches water column, feet per minute, meters per second, and pascals. To those wanting metric units, simply remove the display and locate the PJ7 jumper designator on the board. Pull the jumper off and place it on the top two pins next to the PA on the board. The unit will now be calibrated for pascals if you have the transmitter in normal pressure mode or meters per second if you have the unit in the velocity mode. Place the appropriate label on the cover of the proper engineering units so the operator will know in the future what value is being displayed. We hope you have enjoyed our demonstrations. To see additional information on these topics, review the installation instructions provided with all Dwyer sensors and transmitters. Also, the Engineering and Applications Guide can be ordered that gives several installation and application examples. Dwyer Instruments Incorporated provides live technical and customer service support, so if you feel you have any questions on our products, we will be happy to discuss them with you.